everyone and welcome to another Ben's video. I'm going to give you guys some value up front and show you a couple of amazing books I found. This is from 1970. It is Disneyland's Mystifying Magic. It is a book that you could have bought at Disneyland uh, to do magic tricks at home and you guys can see the cops over there. And then I also found a copy of the Anarchist Tool Chest. Now this was actually published in 2011 but if you find the Anarchist Cookbook that is worth even more than this one is. I could not believe I found this and nobody scooped it up. Look, I got a bonus bookmark in here. But now let's go ahead and get into the clothing and see if we can find any more awesome stuff to flip online and save from the landfill. Now, I do always look at hats when I am at the bins. They are super lightweight and I'm checking for content and for brand, you know, like with all of the clothing but I do pick them up. They do tend to be overlooked here. Like you see all those hats down at the bottom. Uh, and I found some good pieces. Now, none of the pieces that I found have sold for more than $20, but uh, for something that weighs, you know, four ounces and costs me a quarter, I'm more than happy to turn that into 10 to 15. Now this is a Ray Dunn a little hand towel and so I set this on the side of my cart to see if I can find another one because no one ever just buys one hand towel and I actually do end up finding the other hand towel in the bin next to this one so I do actually have a set to offer which I think is great I will I will hang stuff on the side of my cart when I either want to look it up later or when I'm hoping to find a match and that will actually come into play as well another hat this one had the little ear flaps on it, but that was also acrylic and it was also child size. I thought about picking this up because I have actually had luck reselling graphic tees that don't have a brand. So this is a, you know, something that somebody ordered online or drop shipped or something. But the t-shirt was pretty thick and it was a larger size and the graphic was interesting and it was green, but I just decided to throw it back. Uh, it wasn't vibrant enough that I probably could have resold that. Now, this is an interesting Harlequin shirt. It had the tag cut out, so I couldn't tell if it was an official merchandise or not, but the graphic was cracking. I really thought about this pretty hard because this is the Harlequin from the 90s cartoon. Uh, so it, it, depending on the tag that would have been inside of it, it could have been vintage uh, or it could have been something that somebody made. And because I wasn't sure if it was a uh, you know, a legit official shirt and or something somebody made on their printer at home. I went ahead and passed on it. This is a Boston Red Sox piece and it is just a really small one and not from one of the brands that I normally pick up for that. So that uh, went back into the bin. This is one of those things you would get an ad for on Instagram. Uh, it's definitely a, a lower quality as far as material and construction goes, but it was green and it was pretty, uh, but it was also polyester, so I decided not to pick that up. I do tend to, for myself, wear only natural fabrics, um, just because I'm a sensitive girly. I really like the print on that, but again, it wasn't my great of a brand. Now, I am trying to learn more about bras and break into that market since last year I did really well with swimsuits and that was new for me and so this year I'm hoping to find some bras to break into that. This is a Polo Ralph Lauren piece. Uh, it had some crunchy crunchy armpits so that went away. This is a vintage Casper piece but it was uh, had a lot of wear to it that I would have need to sweater shave with an inch of my life and with that type of uh, fabric sometimes I can get caught in the sweater shaver and mess it up even further so I decided to let it go that's a pair of Lee pants and I don't know what is going on with Gen Z but they are like absolutely in love with Alfred Dunner and liking like the grandma pants so uh, you know I've been picking up some of the grandma pants <laughs> to resell and they have been selling uh, so I was just thinking if I wanted to get that or not. Now that apron you saw me pass on, the only reason I passed on that is because it had a lot of paint on it. This is a brand new with Tags Croft and Borrow piece. It is white, it is a turtleneck, uh, but I picked this up because it is new with Tags and it is at the bins and 
didn't have anything wrong with it. Magically, it managed not to get any dirt on it while it was in the bin. So that one in my cart. Uh, but I do have really good luck selling aprons. Uh, this is a, an airy piece. It was really soft. It is a size large and I have not tried this brand and I think maybe next time I go to the bins, if I find a lot of airy again, I will end up picking it up. This was 100% cotton. If these were a linen blend, I probably would have picked them up to try for myself. But when I felt it, it's like frayed at the top and I thought that that would bother me. So I went ahead and passed on them because I feel much more comfortable about picking up a new brand if it's something that I would also wear. So if I decide not to resell it, I can keep it for myself. I could not believe this is a made well piece. It is a shirt dress. I'm checking to see why someone would throw it back because I am at the Benz right now. At, this is around one o'clock in the afternoon and it's pretty empty in here and they do not do clothing bin rotations at my bins at all. They only do uh, housewares and hard goods uh, rotations, sometimes shoes, but they do not do clothing bins. Now, if you guys have not heard, uh, mob wife aesthetic is a thing or is supposedly going to be a thing in 2024. And this is an extra large old navy dress in this leopard print. And it was really cute. And I figured I could put Mob Wife Aesthetic on, on the keyword title and, and try it out and see if that's really gonna be a thing. This is a pair of champion joggers. I don't really pick up a champion anymore unless it is a more interesting piece. This is just a pair of gray joggers. So those went to the side. You know, four years ago, I absolutely would have picked those up and been really excited about them. But Champion just has not been moving for me the way it used to. So it went to the wayside. Now, this is a piece. It's Ellison, which I did look this up. It's not really a great resale brand, but it was a really nice looking flannel shirt dress. And I would set it aside, one, to look it up and two, to see if I could find the belt. Now, I did end up finding the belt. But unfortunately, I am a tall lady with broad shoulders, and when I went to look at it on myself, it, it just was not going to fit me, so that went back. Now, this is a vintage Polo Ralph Lauren polo, and it does have some staining on it, which I can get it out. It's just some crusties, which, you know, ew, but it comes out in the wash. And I'm just checking it over to see if it's in good enough condition to resell. Now, Polar Ralph Lauren, I will not pick up the basic polos, but because that had a pattern on it and it was a larger size, I am willing to pick that up to give it a try. That jacket was a vintage jacket that had some company branding on it, so I did not end up picking it up. This is an Under Armour piece that you can see had some bleaching on it. And this is a Yvette sports bra. And I did look this up and it unfortunately was not really worth it for resale. It was a size large, so it would have been too big for me to use for personal use. But it was a really nice looking sports bra. Um, I did just check comps and they were selling for like $6. And yeah, it's lightweight and I could have made a profit, but I just took, went ahead and decided to pass on it. This is an old navy t-shirts, which I was surprised about. I was like, that's kind of, it's kind of fun for an old navy t-shirt. Uh, this is a Valentine's Day a little lightweight scarf with some cats and dogs on it. And this is uh, Blue Talon Bistro, which is a small restaurant in Colonial Williamsburg. There's a lot of like local t-shirts in this bin. Several for Williamsburg and several for businesses around Williamsburg, which I found interesting. This is a Cars a towel. Uh, Cars, I believe, came out in 2006, so almost vintage, not quite there yet. That is a Grey's Anatomy pair of scrub bottoms. I've also found a lot of Georgia t-shirts as well. Uh, now, if those are all women's, I found all women's and kids t-shirts. If they were some men's t-shirts of larger sizes, I would pick them up, but the smaller ones, uh, not really. I also found a lot of J. Crew in this bin that I would normally pick up, uh, but I actually was passing on it today. This was a linen blend, which, for those of you that have been here for a while are probably like clutching your pearls that I'm actually going to throw this back. And that's just because it is an extra small. This is like a 2013, like the 20 mid 20 teen 
style. So I went ahead and just threw that back despite it being linen. It did hurt a little bit, but I, just, I knew that, that I would be sitting on that for a while, especially at an extra small size. Uh, and it was kind of plain too. So this is just uh, a pink sweater and we have a jacket here that was crunchy in a gross way. This is another one of those uh, fast fashion like Instagram ad brands. Uh, this didn't really have a brand in it and we have lots of little kid stuff. That's a little kid apron. Uh, I still haven't done the once upon a child thing yet. You know, I keep seeing Kathy having a lot of success with it over in Ginger Marvin. Frame, look, I got frame jeans. These are Lahai skinny jeans and they're black. And I do have good luck with black jeans, but these are a size two. Again, three or four years ago, I would have like been shaking because I would have been so excited to find these at the bins. But they had some puckering in the front or I maybe even still would have picked them up because it is the bins. But because it's a small size and because they had puckering, I just decided to let them go. I just think it's so funny that, you know, things change so quickly in fashion nowadays and just in general. This is a, a black pair of, you know, PJ pants and they had some heavy pilling. This is a little like handkerchief or a napkin, but look at this beautiful cottage core print. And it is cotton, uh, so I'm gonna put that in my basket for crafting. <laughs> I'm not gonna sell just one solitary napkin, but I will uh, use it either for quilting or to make something else out of it. Now this is a Gap shirt, and I'm gonna come back to that shirt because it felt really nice. <laughs> Um, this is a love by Gap, which I didn't realize is their pajama line. And the reason I say I don't didn't realize it's their pajama line is because I looked it up. I was just, this is a size large. This is just incredibly soft. I wish you guys could feel this shirt through the internet. And I actually, again, ended up finding, I went to go look that up. That's what I set it aside for. I actually found the pants in the other bin. I actually ended up finding pretty much any of the extra pieces I was missing from this bin in the bin right next door to it and so I was really excited that I have a complete set so if you're looking for some large loungewear with some lightning bolts on it maybe you know Harry Potter adjacent there you go <laughs> but like I said I wish you guys could feel it it's so soft now this is a J. Crew piece I ended up picking up because it's got it's like red and white stripes it's very like you know, boating, preppy, and or like rockabilly-esque. And I just thought it was really cute. And that's just me checking to make sure there aren't any stains because it is a light colored shirt. But that one I did end up picking up for being J. Crew, And you know, lots of just little tiny pieces. Seriously soft. If I found a seriously soft tee and green in my size, I would pick it up. But it was an extra small. A lot of, again, a lot of t-shirts. This is uh, another Flerns. Flerns. I was hoping that maybe that was a Scandinavian brand and not a fast fashion brand, but it is a fast fashion brand. Now, if I have found the matching shorts, which sadly I did not find the matching shorts for this, if I managed to find the matching shorts for that, because that is a short set. This is a Burberry piece, by the way, but that is a very well-worn and very stained Burberry piece. Uh, if I had managed to find the shorts for that pajama top, I could have sold that for like 20 bucks, but because I couldn't find the shorts, that went away. This is actually a, a homemade knit, uh, but because it was fairly stained, I let that go. This is new with Tags Airy. It's a new with Tags Airy piece, and it is a substantial sweatshirt. Now, it does have some pilling on it, which I found interesting considering it was new with Tags. Uh, I'm going to give it a good lint roll and a little bit of a sweater shave to freshen that up. I don't know how it has pills on it when it's a new item, but, you know, I'm sure it's rubbed against a bunch of stuff in its pathway to get here to the bins. This is a loft piece. It's an interesting mixed media piece, but it was staying there under arms, so I let that go. A t-shirt. So when something is inside out, I do sometimes um, flip it out so that way I can make sure I see the whatever the design is on it if it is inside out or I'd like at least look inside of it uh, some some pieces oh this is a life is good piece so I do actually have really decent luck with life is good and this is a size medium and they're joggers and they're black 
and I need a new pair of joggers. And they, like I said, they are a size medium. And so this is me checking them over really good. And that's me putting them on my body or putting them up to my body. And this is me doing the neck test. So if you are out at the bins or out at a thrift store and shopping and you don't have a fitting room with which you can utilize, uh, if you take the waistband of the pants and wrap it around your neck and the two points touch, uh, or even have like a little bit of overlap, like maybe, you know, a centimeter or so, the chances are that that pair of pants is going to fit you. And so that's what I was doing. So I'm hoping that that's correct and the pants will fit you. Now, if the, if you put it around your neck and they don't touch, then chances are that's going to be too tight for you. And if they, if you put it around your neck and it's like, you could wear it as a scarf, then it's going to be too big for you. But that's just a quick and easy way for me to check if it's close to fitting me. And so that's why I put it in my cart is because I am hoping that those fit me because I do need some joggers. I have, I have a pair of Twitch joggers that I got for free at a TwitchCon a really long time ago, but you know, I've had them for six, seven years and I've already put one patch in them, uh, because the butt rant rubbed out of it. So I've been patching them and they just look kind of sad. So I've been only wearing them around the house or with a shirt that's long enough to cover my butt so you can't see that I've patched them. Um, but I, I think I've reached the point where it's just time to say goodbye to them and scrap them. So I'm really hoping that those fit so I can do that because I, I do wear my clothes out. I wear them out or I wear them until they don't fit anymore. So normally they wear out before they, they don't fit anymore, which is great because I've kind of been the same size forever. And you see me throwing back a bunch of stuff <laughs> that... Just, just not cutting it for the resale. I, I, those are Fila. Fila. If you did not know, Fila is actually like really big in Japan. I found that so surprising. So in 2019, I went to Japan, you know, before the pandemic happened, which was great. It was a friend's trip and it was wonderful. And I could not believe how many stores was selling Fila in Japan. Like, that was like the the big western wear brand that they had in there i thought that's so interesting um, so i'm continuing to look in this bin hoping for something awesome and we have another that, that was crunchy you can normally tell how i feel about stuff by like how far away i'm holding it and how much i'm willing how close i'm willing to get to it <laughs> uh, a lot of things i'm just like oh this is not it this is a little tiny pair of shorts. I was trying to check for a brand, but I couldn't find one. Um, this is a little t-shirt and we have some, this is Glen Eagles, which is a vintage trench coat. Now there is a kind of a subset that of people that are trying to buy vintage trench coats because they're cut differently and they fall differently. And it's, it's, I don't know how to describe it. It's just modern trench coats don't fall in the same way as vintage ones do. The only reason I didn't pick that one up is because it didn't have the tie. People want the tie. They want the tie waist trench coat. So I just decided to go ahead and pass on that. Now, what I would have done with that trench coat is I actually would have gotten my partner to model it for me um, because trench coats just look kind of sad unless you can get them on a body in a stylized shot. So that's what I would have had to done with that. And I was like, do I really want to do that when I don't have the little, when it's not one of the strappy ones. So I passed on it. I, I will model some pieces. Karen does really great for me, but I have noticed that with like the menswear pieces, they really just like you to show them how to wear it. And that helps a lot unless it's, you know, one of those really loud pieces. If it's a basic, like that trench coat, they, they kind of want to see how it's styled. But I am, like I said, I go through these bins. I pick up every single piece of clothing. If it is a grody piece of clothing, I use another piece of clothing to pick up the grody piece of clothing. I do try to pick up everything because as you guys have seen, picking up everything means that I don't miss anything and I don't leave anything behind that could potentially find a new home either with me or with someone else. This is a pair of American Eagle lounge pants and, and green and a size that might fit me. So those are going to go in my cart in hopes that I also will get to keep those. <laughs> I found a lot of stuff that I'm hoping will fit me for myself. 
Um, this is a vintage piece. It's Briggs. That's from the 90s. I probably could have styled that in a way that I could have resold it, but I just decided to let it go because while it was more interesting than normal, um, I just wasn't going to do that. This is vintage Morona. It had really, really thick shoulder pads in it, so that was probably like 90s Morona, but I just passed on it. I have done well actually selling vintage Morona, which is surprising because considering it's a Target brand, but you know, vintage will sell not necessarily regardless, regardless of brand. That was an Old Navy t-shirt. Again, Old Navy really stepping up their tea game because some of those I've been like, oh, this is cute. Oh, it's Old Navy. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> but I do end up going through this. This is a fake NFL. This is not a, a, this is something somebody made, which is cool. You know, that that's, that's a le legit craft right there. Um, so that one went away to the wayside. But we are almost at the end of this bend, so I'm going to give you to other Bob, and she's going to do with the haul with y'all. See you in a bit. Welcome to the haul, y'all. So I am excited to share with you what I picked up. I think I got around 27 pounds in total, so it was definitely a lucrative day at the bins, both for the books that I picked up which I don't really show on this channel, <laughs> and also all of the clothes. And I picked up something that surprised me, which I will show you, but that will go up on eBay. If you are new here, I actually offer up almost everything I'm going to show you in this haul uh, up on Whatnot first, because I am very fortunate that I have very cheap men's pricing. It is $1.29 per pound if I get over 20 pounds, which I usually do. And so I offer everything up on Whatnot first, starting at $2 each. So you can either get some cheap inventory for yourself, because I know not everybody has cheap sourcing opportunities where they are, and or to get something cheap in general for yourself. So let me go ahead and show you what I picked up. Now, some of the things I will be like crafting with or reselling on my own, um, or I don't know, I guess I can offer this up on, on whatnot, but I'm not really sure anybody would be interested. This is a 1960s, a little like handkerchief and it, the brand is Fulio Pucci. Fa Fauci? I don't know. I will look this up before I put it up on whatnot. Um, I just saw it was in an amazing pattern and I saw that it was made in Italy and it was cotton and it did have a brand on it so it's something like I really kind of wanted to look up because I do know that there's a couple of Italian makers from that time period that are worth a lot of money so I just gonna set that aside editing Bob here I am so excited that this little scarf that I just thought was absolutely gorgeous actually turned out to be one of those Italian designers <laughs> that are worth money I the the script was so stylized that I had a hard time reading it but it is Emilio Pucci which is a designer I've actually talked about on the channel before so to find one of his handkerchiefs at the bins at the bottom of a bin uh, that sells for roughly 30 to $60 is kind of amazing. I am going to list it on the higher side because it is in perfect condition and it is one of the quintessential mod style designs that he did in that time period. So I'm going to aim high and yeah, that's, that's amazing. That is a 10 out of 10 find for me and it is going to go up on eBay, but yeah, that that's again why I pick up everything and I don't discount little, little tiny scraps of fabric because you never know because that was just folded up in a little tiny rectangle about the size of a credit card at the bottom of the bin. So that's awesome. <laughs> Let's see what happens. And because I saw that one, I saw this one. So I knew this was also from the 60s. This doesn't have a maker with it though, but this is just stuff I'm going to throw up on eBay. Nice little 60s like, you know, rectangle scarf really small something that would have given just a pop of color like in your mod dress but I have really like I said good luck selling these on eBay they don't sell for a whole lot but they do sell for me something that also sells for me very well is and I will put this on whatnot are vintage aprons <laughs> and I found several of these 
which I was very excited about, um, that were actually in decent condition. This one is a polyester cotton blend, and this is made in the USA. Kind of Christmassy, but it doesn't have any stains on it. Very cute. It's got the little ruffle layer on this side. I thought this was absolutely adorable. So I picked that up. This I was super surprised about. So I don't know how well this is going to sell, but I found Snart Bowl at the bins, which I've never found a Snart Bowl at the bins before. The size is small and it is a pair of um, wool blend, I think. Yep, wool, nylon, and elastane. Like, leggings. They're like tights. They're like footless tights. So they're supposed to be, you know, a warm base layer for you underneath your garment. And they're actually really good condition. I don't know. I just thought it was super cool that I found, you know, some smart wool leggings at the bins that didn't have any holes in them and were in good shape. So that's exciting. Those will go up. I'm really happy about that. Uh, this I'm going to try. I don't know how well it's going to do because, you know, this kind of stuff is sold at TJ Maxx. But I found two Ray Dunn towels that are white and magically still white. Uh, that is the land of the free, home of the brave. Here's the second towel. I did find both of them. So I can offer them up. You know, these probably would have sold for you know, $10 at, there's the Ray Dunn tag, $10 over at Home Goods or something. I don't know. I know that that's, what, what is the word for it now? Chuggy? It used to be basic. <laughs> now it's chuggy. Uh, I'm sure there's another word for it now because, you know, slang seems to change every five years at this point. But I found a matching set. I figured I would go ahead and pick them up, especially since, you know, that weighs four ounces. So 50 cents, I'll be fine. So this is a 90s uh, long line maxi, well, I don't know if it's a maxi, it's a midi skirt, but it's a midi denim pencil skirt. And you know, if you're five feet tall, this would be maxi skirt, but I'm five foot nine, so it's a midi skirt. Uh, and the brand is Squeeze by Stephen Hardy. The brand didn't really matter so much as the style did. These long line denim skirts are back in for some reason, and it's vintage and vintage and I get along really well. So I picked that up. It is a smaller size, so probably like a size, modern size two, but I've sold all sizes. So that's not really a big deal for me. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the thing that I found in a bin, like at the bottom of the bin that I was super surprised about. So bags at my bins are $3.50 a piece. Sometimes they'll, you know, cut you a deal and only charge you $2 for it. It just depends on how substantial the bag is, right? And a lot of the time, the, the people at the bins that are looking through the bags are actually not, like, looking through the bags to pick up the bags. They're looking through the bags to see if they have money in them, which I find so weird. Like, they will literally put all the bags in their cart, go through each pocket, and throw the bags back. Like, they are not interested in the bags whatsoever, which I found interesting. So this was probably one of those where they just picked up the bag, looked through all the pockets and threw it back. And I saw it and I was like, that looks, that looks amazing. Cause you know, I saw the green first and I was like, that is a beautiful leather bag. And I was like, okay, it's got a logo, but that's not a Dooney and Burke logo. Cause this is not giving you vintage Dooney and Burke vibes. Right. And so I looked inside of it and it says Badro. L L A D. R O the same like Spanish porcelain brand that everybody goes nuts over at estate sales. And you know, this is what it's more well known for. And I have sold Yadro before and I did not know that they made leather goods, but I did look this up. I did not find this exact bag at all, but they're selling anywhere from 20 to like 200. Um, the $200 ones are normally the really like nice leather briefcases for men. At least that's what I could tell, or like their larger messenger bags. But I, the closest one I could find that actually had from the same time period that had the dark navy, the green, and the brown it was a bucket bag, and it sold for like a best offer, I'm guessing, for around $35. So I don't know. I'm going to clean this up, and it is actually in really good shape. It just needs the leather to be conditioned, uh, and I think it'll 
shine it right back up, but it does have the Adro on the inside. It has the Adro on all of the tags and then it has it as well here as well. I just thought that this was absolutely gorgeous. It is a very substantial crossbody bag. It has really great pockets inside of it too. And yeah, I was just like, I could not believe I found this. I thought that this was so interesting. I, I learned something new. I did not know that they made handbags and now I do. So I'm gonna probably list this high and just see what happens because like I said, it is a nice looking bag and these vintage 90s styles bags are what's in right now. Uh, and so and performing really well so I just thought look at it it's so pretty like I literally had a woman stop me because she saw this like in my back in my basket she's like that bag is gorgeous I was like I know right <laughs> so I picked this up you know I the green I spotted the green and of course I had to pick that up if you're new here my favorite color is green so there we go and as I mentioned before that bag's not gonna go on whatnot that bag's gonna go on eBay, but everything else is gonna go on whatnot. Uh, I do a, a live auction on whatnot every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I just forgot to mention that before. Now this is something I will offer on whatnot, but I do have to wash this. And these were selling for like $30, so hopefully you guys get it. But uh, this is one of those bags that she just gave it to me for like a dollar um, because it's a little tote bag. Uh, but this is True Religion. This is Vintage True Religion in the art to wear tote bag it does have a snap and has an inner zipper um you can see here it has some seaming on it that's why i said i need to wash this um but you know i did see one of these being offered for like 40 bucks i'm like good luck with that but super excited i saw this and i was like that's a gorgeous print i wonder what that is and i saw it was a tote bag i was like i will pick that up so I, that that one will go up on whatnot um, this is a pair of Tommy Bahama pants. I know not everybody likes reselling Tommy Bahama, but it does well for me. And this was a really nice pair of khaki pants. Like this is really soft. These are really soft. And what it was is that I actually saw this in a houseware bins and I saw this logo peeking out of a pile of housewares. And so I went over there immediately and was like, okay, what is that? Somebody just threw that back in there after checking all the pockets. And this is a pair of 4430s and it's a cotton, just a cotton chino. But it's a really nice size. It's a really good basic. Like I said, this is incredibly soft. Uh, and it's a decent brand, or at least for me. Tommy Bahama is a decent brand for me. So I picked these men's pants up. You guys know how much I love my vintage knitwear, and so I picked up this all points piece. It is a size small, and it is Rami and cotton. Rami is actually a plant material, kind of. If you see Rami, like Rami was really, really big in the, as a, a knitwear material in the 80s and 90s, uh, and then it's kind of fallen out because it's expensive. It is just like linen as far as the expense of making it because it is a plant-based fiber. Um, but it is a plant-based fiber, fiber in the way that linen is a plant-based fiber versus the way that cotton is a plant-based fiber. Like cotton has these little puff balls that you just make into stuff. Like linen and Rami are both like long line fabrics that they have to like beat the crap. If you've ever not seen how linen is made, or I, I just highly recommend and you will have a higher appreciation for the fabric because it is very intense. So... I saw this. It is a size small and it is very full with all of the leaves, but it has a front snap. It is heavily embroidered. It's very cute. So I decided to go ahead and pick this up. I am more than happy to hold on to it till next fall, but you never know. Somebody might want it right now because it's, it's very cute. This is a good basic. This is Under Armour. It is a women's medium, just workout top. Again, most people pass on these, but I pick them up because they sell very quickly for me. I throw them up for 10 bucks, they're gone, especially this time of year where everybody's like trying to work out more. This is a pair of North Face cargo pants, or not cargo pants, cargo shorts. And you know, cargo is still really in. North Face is a decent brand. And I found these at the bins. They are a size 34, which is probably one of the most, 34 and 36 I think are the most common men's sizes. So I will absolutely pick that up at the bins because I know that will sell. And this is a kid's pair of shorts, but I picked it up because they're new with tags. I do really well with new with tags, Old Navy. Again, it doesn't sell for a whole lot, but they do sell. 
And so this is a new pair of kids size 12 little chino shorts that absolutely will sell on eBay if it doesn't sell on whatnot, but I will give it on whatnot first. This is a pair of Roxy like lounge pants, really beautiful wide leg, got the bright pink floral, like palm frond. Uh, it is a size large, but it's like a junior size large because you know, Roxy, well, yeah, it's more of like a junior size large, um, but they're beautiful. And I have good luck selling Roxy and they're wide leg. So this is more like a beach cover up. Maybe like you go out on the beach in your cute little bikini, you throw these on at night, with like a like little wrap or whatever. I just thought it was beautiful. It's really lightweight and that will sell. Another vintage knit and a vest with <laughs> the leaves. This one is Tiara International. Tiara International will normally like when they do their copyright, it'll say the year. This one actually doesn't do that, which is weird. Normally it does, but this is size small. So I'm guessing it was owned by the same person that had the other piece. I sell these all the time. The more embellished they are, the more likely they are to sell. This one has a cute little leaf a zipper pull and it also has a squirrel on it and a, a sunflower. Like I said, people are wearing these as tops. They're not necessarily wearing them as vests and they're adorable and you know, I just like it. I think it's cute. So I picked that up. You are. Oh, this is a Pendleton top, which I was surprised about. It is long sleeve. It has the tie front and I don't know what size you are because it's cut out. <laughs> so I'll have to do measurements to figure out what size this is. And it feels like it is a rayon material but that also tag has also been cut out. But I just saw a Pendleton and I saw a nice little top. I feel like this is a size large, extra large maybe, but I will do measurements on it to figure that out. Like I'm not even halfway through this bag guys, this is insane. Okay, so I picked this up because of the size and I was like, I'll try it. Um, it is Stranger Things and it's a 2XL and it is a Raglan. I picked it up because this honestly feels like it had never been worn. Like this feels like it had never been washed. Um, and also, you know, is white and has no stains on it from the bins. So that is an automatically, oh my God, I did it. I found the thing that has no stains on it. So we will see. I don't know. I don't know how many grown men want to have children's faces on their chest, but you know, there are two XL teenagers. So who knows? <laughs> I picked this up for style, uh, cause it's vintage. It is a size medium. But look at this gorgeous 90s piece. This is a men's medium, rayon, amazing pattern. Like these funky abstract like button fronts for men that are from the 90s sell all day long for me. So that is an easy, easy pickup for me. Just the same thing for this one. This is a men's small. The brand is Round Roundy Bay. But <laughs> those you know why I picked it up it's bright green it's got fishes on it and she shells but it's just so loud <laughs> like this is the kind of stuff the kids would want to wear when they're wearing vintage is they want it to be loud that is a statement piece for sure but this is a men's size small but it's like 90s men's size small so it's more like a modern you know loose fit medium this is uh a modern piece. This is Vans off the wall. It's a size, I think medium for women. Am I right? Do I remember? I did. And I picked this up because I saw this and I was like, what is that? And it's just a women's crop. I don't know if it came this way or if somebody cropped it. So who knows? I can't tell, but I will just list this as is and someone will either buy it or not. I mean, isn't that how it works in general? Okay, so this is a Life is Good pair of joggers. This is a size medium. You did not see this one. I found this one in the other bin, so there are actually two. So if they fit me, amazing, I will keep them and they will not go up on whatnot. If they don't fit me, then they will go up on whatnot. But I found it in this like plum color. 
I guess that's the best way to describe that. And then I also found those black ones that you guys saw in the video and we'll see eventually when I get to them in this bag. Another vintage apron. Again, I have great luck selling these. I put them on Karen and I just denote the measurements on them. This one has pockets. Look how cute that is. That's such a cute little thing. It's got the piping all the way around. I think this is something someone made and wasn't something somebody bought because this one doesn't have a tag on it. Absolutely think this is adorable. These little vintage aprons, so cute. And here is that other life is good pair of joggers. Again, size medium. I don't know if they're women's or men's medium. I will find out when I put them on. <laughs> if they're men's medium, then they will probably be long enough for me. If they're women's medium, they'll be too short because I am the size of an average man. But there we go. There's those. All right, and then we have some Livy, which is Lane Bryant's line of activewear. I've had some good luck reselling these. This is a Livy size 22-24 and gray. It's a nice little activewear v-neck. And then I have another one. This one is another activewear v-neck, but this is a 26-28 in blue and then this is just cute this is a 1416 and another livy top but this is a tank top with making it happen on the front i just thought that was adorable and it's got like these little accents up here this little tie accent up top i just thought it was cute so that i, I ran into like a little bit of of livy there so this is a vintage uh half slip so it's just a skirt slip and this is vintage Montgomery Ward in black. And it's got this really cute little lace detail on the bottom. Now I found two of these, one was a cream and one was black and they're both the same size. So they're a size medium, which is 27 to 29. And these were selling on eBay for like 15 to $20. So I decided to pick it up. I, I rarely find like vintage lingerie in condition that I can resell in but that is in immaculate condition like the the elastic is still in really good shape it still makes the boing boing sound instead of the crunch crunch sound so again if you are new to selling vintage if something has elastic in it please like stretch it like this if it doesn't make the boing boing sound and it makes a crunch sound like Rice Krispie Treats uh you need to throw that back because that means that elastic is dead <laughs> and will never ever like hold anymore all right. Oh, okay, here. I'll hold on to this until I find the top. All right, here we go. So I was so excited. So you guys saw I found this in the bin and I decided to look it up. It is, this is just so soft. I was like, I'm just gonna pick this up. It's so soft. It's Gap, it's Love by Gap. And this is a size large. It's blue with the little lightning bolts on it. This I wish, like I said, you could feel this through the internet. It is so soft. And then in the other bin, when I was looking in the other bin, I found the pants. And I was like, oh my god, are you kidding me? I found an actual complete set in two different bins. But this is also a size large. And they're a pair of joggers. So I found the top and the bottom, the matching pajama set. And this is amazing to me. So that'll actually, I'll sell that as a set. So that'll start at $4 because it's $2 a piece, if that makes sense. So, but I will sell that as a set. And I'm so excited about that. Um, this is also something that might not end up on whatnot or on eBay because it might fit me and y'all know how I feel about green. Um, but this is a size large American Eagle pair of wide leg, like just really nice pants. And I'm hoping these will be long enough for me because they do kind of have a drop crotch, which maybe will make it long enough. I have a 32 inch inseam as a woman, um, which is not normal. The normal size for women for inseam is like 28, 29. So everything looks like high waters on me. <laughs> so again, I get really excited if I think I'm gonna find a pair of pants that will fit me and also be long enough for me. So I picked that up. All right, so Mob Wife Aesthetic is supposedly gonna be a thing this year. And that is a lot of animal print, black and red. And I saw this dress it is a size extra large for Old Navy. And it's just pretty. It's a nice little uh, blue sawn dress with some smocking here around the waist. And it has the keyhole front. And it's just pretty. 
So I thought that someone has got the nice little balloon sleeves. So pretty. So I picked this up and we're gonna give that a go. I figured that is probably one of the safest bets I could get. It's Old Navy, it's a recognizable brand. It is, you know, a nice leopard print, animal print and it is a good size and it's just a cute style. So I don't feel like I can miss with that. All right, this is that uh, brand new tags piece from Aerie. This is a size large. And this is supposed to be, um, Aerie only makes women's clothing, just so you know. So this is supposed to be like a turtleneck dress, but I am 5'9", so it is too short for me. <laughs> but it is a size large. It's supposed to be this cozy dress. Now it does have some pilling on it, um, but I actually think maybe that's just dust. Yeah, it goes right away when I wipe it, so maybe I just need to lint roll it. But it is new with tags. It is a size large. It is very cozy looking. So we will see what happens with that. And I will say, for those of you that have seen me for a while, yes, I did cut my hair. I cut six inches of my hair off. I put layers in and I'm so happy because it was time. There was so much dead stuff down here that it was just time to cut it. It's been like two years since I cut it off. So yeah, I did cut my hair. <laughs> I'm just gonna acknowledge that. Yes, I did cut my hair. <laughs> Uh, this is a J. Crew piece. It is a size large. It's that rockabilly, like sailor style that I talked about before. I have great luck selling this type of stuff on eBay. This is that cottage core little handkerchief that I'm going to use as fabric. So that will not go up on whatnot because I'm just going to use that. Here's the Madewell piece. I could not believe this. I thought there's got to be something wrong with this in order for someone to throw back a Madewell shirt dress, but no, there's nothing wrong with it. This is a size large really cute other than maybe you know it's short sleeve for the season it's not really the right season for this this is definitely like a spring summer piece but it's really pretty yep there's nothing wrong with it i don't know like again white things at the bins that are not messed up speaking of brand new with tags crofton borrow size medium this is a men's medium white turtleneck Originally retailed for $24 at Kohl's. I will probably throw it up for like, I, you know, I'm going to put it up on whatnot first. If nobody buys it on whatnot for somebody in their life, then it will just go up on eBay for 10 bucks, and I'll be happy with that. And the last thing I have to show with you is the vintage Polo Ralph Lauren piece. This is a size extra large. So again, great size. It is more interesting with all of the stripes. It still has the pony and it also has some crunchies on the front, but those will be easy to get out. So that is everything. That was 27 pounds of stuff. Again, if the three items that I've decided that I want to try for myself, if you don't see them up and whatnot, it's because they fit and I'm keeping them. Uh, but if you do see them, it's because they didn't. And so I can move them on to you. But I hope to see you uh, on Thursday for, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the auction. If not, I will hopefully see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed your time with me, hero, and until hero. then, bye! Bye! Hero, hero, I wanna be a hero, hero. Oh, the hero.